So today we're gonna do the reading section, and today we will discuss true, false, not given. So there are five parts that we want to discuss here. So today we're gonna do the part first and the tips and tricks. As you all know, true, false, not given. So you will be given the statement. As you all know, that you will be given the statement containing the information, and you must decide if the information in the statement is true, false, not given. According to the information, the reading passage. So you will be given the information. According to that, you should match that whether it is true, false, or not given. So there are different tips and tricks that we have to follow. First, you have to analyze what is true, false, and not given. So what is basically a true? True when you can find the information in the passage, and if it is agree with the statement. For example, if the statement is given to you. and the statement that is agree with the statement whatever the passage that is relevant to the things that is given to you the statement matches with another statement that means definitely surety it will be true the second is false the passage and the statement have different informations the passage shows that the statement is wrong it contains a mistake which you know because of the passage shows which is should be so the passage falls it states that when the your passage the statement is different for example the statement is given to you is statement is not it is it is contrasting with another statement it is not relevant with the, that but some kind of information is given to that statement that means it states that the statement it should be false okay what is the meaning of not given this means you couldn't find all the information in the passage or the passage does not contain enough information to know if the true or false not given is always implement upon that statement if the information is given half to you or either the information is not given to you or either the information is not relevant to the information that is given to your statement that always states that the your statement will be not given so the meaning should be clear to you true false and not given now let's jump it to the tips and techniques how you can follow and how you can uh, do all these true false and not given so there are different tips and techniques you should follow that first technique you have to uh, kept in your mind that the questions are asked in the same order in which the textual information is given to you for example if a text is given to you in the information is given to you always remember that the questions are always in a sequence it should not be like the if the first answer is given to your first uh, a paragraph and the second answer is given to your e paragraph no it should be the beneath of that paragraph okay and so you should always do the questions so always the questions are in the same order so you should always solve also in the same order okay in order to know the correct answers you need to understand the text given and check which the fact about the text is true false or not given so in order to check your statement whether it is true false or not given what you want to do so you have to do that you have to read the statement first so you have to apply the skimming and scamming technique with the help of the keywords and after analyzing that statement you should again go and read that statement find that statement and if the if the statement is matches to that relevant it, if the matches with the that statement that means it is true if it is contrast with the statement that means it is false if the statement information is given half to you or either it is not relevant to that statement obviously it is not given so the third strategy you can apply read the first passage carefully example and try to answer the question so whenever the question is given to you you have to uh, read the statement first underline the keywords with the help of keywords you can do skimming and scamming technique and after skimming and scamming technique you should skip you should jump to your paragraph and read those paragraphs with those with the help of those keywords and understand that okay so if you find the answers that do not rush to write it if you find the answer like it is true it is relevant to the same do not rush that statement so reread reread again and read the sentence carefully and decided whether the it it is should be incorrect or it should be incorrect sometimes the keyword is matching but the statement is not match okay so you have to analyze the statement also do not depend upon the keywords or skimming and scamming you should also under the, understand the statement if you understand the statement you should obviously know it whether it is true false or not true okay the fourth strategy is when you do not find the answers in the first paragraph 
move to the second paragraph and repeat the procedures so whatever the procedure i have given to you at the above of this table so you have to if you not find if you can't find any type of answers so you should do uh, you should follow these three steps okay so you have to read the information text carefully to find whether the keywords in the questions are present in the so keep in your mind when you do the skimming and scamming technique you should see that you should find that whether the those keywords are present in that statement also if it is not given that means you are not finding the relevant thing that means you are not finding the correct passage read reread again your statements and then find the passage i think so this must be clear to all so these are the tips and techniques you have to follow for the part one of your true or true false not given